starting point from which you must take off if you wish to write your own ticket from here on out for the remainder of your life, I will describe for you in these simple instructions. One, write down a clear description of your major desire in life. The one circumstance or position or thing which you will be willing to accept as your idea of success. And remember before you begin writing that your only limitations are those which you set up in your own mind or permit others to set up for you. And two, write down a clear statement of precisely what you intend to give in return for that which you desire from life. And then start in right where you stand now to begin giving. And three, memorize both of your statements, what you desire and what you intend to give in return for it and repeat them at least a dozen times daily and always end your statements with this expression of gratitude for the blessings with which you were gifted at birth i ask not for divine providence or more riches but more wisdom with which to accept and use wisely the riches i received at birth in the form of the power to control and direct my mind to whatever ends i desire if you are not too successful or self-satisfied to accept and express this profound prayer, if you accept it and express it in the same spirit of humble sincerity in which I pass it on to you, a new and a better world will reveal itself to you. A world in which you will see reflected the circumstances and the things which you yourself have created. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. Isn't that a profound statement? Personality determines whether people are attracted to you or shy away from you. And it is the one thing which distinguishes you from all other human beings. It is your trademark by which uh, people recognize you. And it is the thing which determines your success or failure in selling yourself through life. Therefore, you should see your personality just as others see it. So you may improve it uh, where it needs improvement. Every trait which goes into your personality is under your control and uh, you can improve it so it will be whatever you want it to be. Let us start with the most important trait of your personality, your mental attitude. This is the trait with which you attract people to you and cause them to like you or repel them and cause them to dislike you. How do other people know whether your mental attitude is positive or negative, you may ask? Well, the answer is easy. You disclose this information by the tone of your voice, whether it is pleasant or harsh, by the expression on your face, whether it is soft and pleasing or harsh and scowling, by the courtesy and consideration you show other people or the lack of these. So you see, there is no escape from revealing to others the exact nature of your personality. The next most important trait of your personality consists of your flexibility of your mental attitude or your lack of it. If you have flexibility, you adjust yourself to all the circumstances in your relations with others without losing your composure or allowing yourself to become irritable or angry. Uh, just remember, if you have flexibility of your mental attitude, it will be impossible for anyone to make you angry or to irritate you without your consent or cooperation. Now this is worth knowing, isn't it? You cannot control the actions of other people which might justify you in becoming irritated by them, but you can control your reaction to all such circumstances by exercising your trait of flexibility. And you will observe that all people in the higher brackets of success have this flexibility and they do control their reaction to the influences of other people. A negative mental attitude can bring you nothing but failure. Remember always, you are where you are and what you are because of your mental attitude in which you relate yourself to other people. Remember also, your mental attitude is the one and the only thing over which you have complete control. Success is something which has to be planned, and success is something which has to be earned. Applied faith is the only means by which the master key can be appropriated and used, therefore, I give you these instructions through which you may create a mental attitude which is favorable for the expression of faith. One, know what you want and believe that you can and will get it. Two, give expressions of gratitude many times daily for having received that which you want, 
even before you actually get physical possession of it. Possession starts first in the mind. Uh, please remember this. Third, keep your mind open for hunches from within. And when you are inspired to action, do not wait, but move on your own personal initiative at once. Remember, there can be no application of applied faith without action. Fourth, when overtaken by defeat, as you may be many times, remember that man's faith is tested many times before he is crowned with final victory. And accept your defeat as nothing more than a challenge to keep on trying. And five, a burning desire for the things or circumstances you want is the starting point of all applied faith. Be definite, believe, and act. And uh, keep on acting if at first you meet with defeat. Six, when doubt creeps into your mind, remember that uh, whatsoever a man believeth, that shall he also reap. Remember, faith is not something you get. Faith is something you already have. But you may be using it in reverse gear by believing in the circumstances and things you do not want, the things you fear. Remember also that faith is guidance only. It is not a power which will bring you what you want, but a power that can guide you to go after what you want and get it. Remember, too, that your faith is limited only by your own capacity to believe. You can do whatever you make up your mind to do. I believed I could give the world a practical philosophy of success which would free men and women from their fears and limitations. I stood firmly back of that belief through 20-odd years of effort and I saw my belief give freedom to millions of people. Do the thing, said Emerson, and you shall have the power. May I paraphrase this great truth by saying, Believe, and you shall receive. And now, until our next uh, visit, will you please remember that your life is exactly what you make it by your own mental attitude.